Hey my friends, welcome back to Attract Passion. Today I have a special message for you. We'll be talking about Chinese New Year, which is called the Year of the Dragon. I think it's important to study different cultures and to learn from each culture and to take a deep meaning that uh, may often be kind of forgotten in nowadays society. We can learn so much from different cultures and when it comes to Chinese New Year, this year is the year of the dragon, but more precisely the wood dragon, which symbolizes our introvertedness, the introspection of the character. So the greatest qualities of it can come to the surface. Like if you look at the wood through the years, it gets stronger. Like a tree, for example, through years, it only gets stronger because it is deepening its roots, but also expanding its branches into towards the sun, towards the light. So through the years, it's only getting stronger. And <clears throat> wood is in nature an important element because also when, for example, when a tree dies, it kind of degradates into the nature and becomes like a food for the soil, for the new life. So it basically symbolizes an incredible transformation. When it comes to the year of the dragon, often in Chinese cultures, dragon was a symbol of luck, a symbol of good fortune, a symbol of abundance. So often when there is, or when there comes a cycle of the year of the dragon, there was more lucky events happening to people who were living according to the laws of nature. So we'll talk a little bit about this as well. The years of the dragon were, 1952 was the year of the dragon, then 1964 was the year of the dragon, 1976, 1988, 2000, 2012, which was a significant year when it comes to a spiritual awakening, and then 2024, this year, and the next one will be 2036. Those are the cycles of the year of the dragon, and people born in the year of the dragon usually possess natural courage and kind of natural intelligence, practical intelligence, often displaying enthusiasm and confidence. So these are kind of characteristics of the time when the cycle is supported with the energy of the symbol of dragon. Why it is important? Well, in the alchemical tradition or alchemical philosophies, the dragon serves as a powerful reminder that true mastery lies in embracing and harmonizing opposing aspects, fusing them into a unified whole. Which means that through introspection, we are learning from both parts of us. One is courageous part and one is fearful, unconfident part of us. Like through courage, through love, through truth and action, we are slowly embracing our discomfort, our fears, and we are acknowledging and enlightening them only to be a better version of ourselves. And that's what's, what dragon is symbolizing. In many different stories, we may find a symbol of a dragon as, as a symbol of our emotional spirits, which means that as long as they're unacknowledged, we'll be controlled by them, we'll be mastered by them like mastered by external spirits. Sometimes we could say that way, like if you're infused with rage, it may feel like you went completely out of control. But as, as soon as you slay the dragon, you kind of become in control of how you feel. In more modern language, we could say we've learned to self-regulate, we've learned to acknowledge and uh, generate the emotions that are more intentional, that are more, uh, let's say, fused by higher consciousness or closest to love, closest as possible to love, to goodness. That's what we're aiming towards. So the year of the dragon 
was meant to inspire people to kind of find this harmony between their opposite aspects. And for those of you who are finding this harmony, for those of you who are working on yourself, for those of you who are courageously moving through challenging times, not seeing them as punishment by God or punishment by whomever, you're seeing them as opportunities to grow, opportunities to be a better version of yourself. For those of you, this year may become a lucky year. There's many ways and many tools we can actually make our lives fused by luck. Luck is not something that happens to us. We all, you know that, right? You know that. But it's like a byproduct. It's like a reward by nature for the efforts you're putting in that um, are constantly showing an improvement of your understanding of yourself, of life, of life around you. When your understanding is improving and expanding, your actions will reflect that. And when your actions reflect your growth, it, mean, it means that your efforts are becoming or there's a greater quality to your efforts like your action is changing your self-worth is changing your self-love is expanding like you are just becoming more aware of who you are like of quality something we've been talking yesterday yesterday we've been talking about powerful questions you could set to yourself that can take you deeper into your life's purpose, deeper into this understanding of why you're here and why you feel so deeply drawn to certain things. Like I felt drawn into art around seven, eight years ago. Like I need to start painting. Why it spontaneously and naturally happened to us. There are answers to everything, but we need to set questions first, right? Those who don't set questions, they will never know. And the year of the dragon is actually opening for you so many interesting events that are only preparing you for the life you're right now dreaming about. And why I'm saying that? Because you already feel that uh, you are right now in a phase of preparation for something really big. Many of you feel that way. Like Many of you who are working on yourself, you know that all your efforts are investments into the future. And today I wrote something very interesting that kind of, <laughs> it, uh, it just came out of me. So I wrote this, like a river eventually merging with the ocean, everything eventually returns to it, to its original state. What your original state is may be completely different from what you're feeling and doing most of the time. Being original will guide you there. Being authentic in thinking, doing and living is your aim. The results do not matter because originality obviously has its own price. The more authentic you become, the more valuable you will be in anything you choose to embody. So I want to break it down a little bit. Why results do not matter? Well, originality always has its own price. Like when an artwork is really original, and I mean really original, think about the work of Leonardo da Vinci or the work of Pablo Picasso. Those are really original creations. They were not copying someone else. They were original for their time, which means in this time, you need to become original in thinking so you can create something original out of your life. And when you become original, eventually people notice that. Eventually they notice that. And when people notice your originality, they start valuing your presence. It's just the law of nature. That's how you start living in accordance with the law of nature. It's not something we are making up. It's something all ancient philosophers were aware of. It's something that's actually coming. The knowledge of the law of nature is coming from the ancient Egypt, which is very, very old. Like if we go 
into the knowledge of Emerald tablets, which um, are written by a being named Toth, which was kind of a god of knowledge. This is the oldest wisdom known to man and was talking about the law of nature. It is the originality. We all possess our own forces that, you know, the sound that's moving through you, the, the things that inspire you, you are uniquely inspired. For example, when you're watching this video, this video may inspire you in a certain way, but the way you sense inspiration is not the way I sense it. It's not the way anybody else may sense it. And what you do with this inspiration will be something unique or when you're listening your favorite song, what you do with that inspiration will be uniquely yours. And of course, at the beginning, you may be kind of influenced by what you've heard, like maybe you're watching this video and you may be influenced by my work and you may say, well, I want to start painting as well. I want to start doing something like that as well. But through your work, eventually you become more in tune with your own sound. And when you become more in tune with your own sound, which means with um, your own heart's intelligence, with your own heart's desires, your work will start to become more and more and more authentic. In psychological terms, you actually start discovering the uniqueness of your own character, the authenticity of your own character. And in more spiritual terms, you become more familiar with the authenticity of your soul. And that's where you truly start spiritually ascending because you start to appreciate the authenticity of who you truly are. And that's when you can actually start expressing it. So the whole life, you may be aware of this or not, is truly leading you into the process of self-actualization, which basically means that you become aware of your good qualities and challenging qualities, and you learn to manage both sides of them, which leads us back into the symbol of the dragon from the ancient alchemical traditions, which is reminding us that we need to embrace and harmonize opposing aspects. The the yin and yang within us, the feminine and masculine energies, in simplified terms, the chaos and order. So we need to recognize what makes us feel chaotic and why that chaos is important for us to level up into a greater order. So often in our lives, it happens the, the way that you build certain routines that may work for a certain time, which is routine is always an order. It's always a structured pattern that works for a certain period of time. But at some point, that routine starts to feel artificial. It doesn't work for you anymore. And that's where chaos starts to come in into your mind and start disturbing your life a little bit. So your life starts to become more chaotic. And you may feel that and you may notice that and you may say, what's wrong with me? But that's when feminine energy comes into your life and brings some refreshment, refreshment only. So from that refreshment, then eventually through time, you start building a new order, which means a new routine, which will obviously be more improved than the previous one and will be more in sync with you than the previous one until you eventually come to the degree where the chaos and order can dance together, where you have routines in your life, but still you can be completely spontaneous and you can easily dance between chaos and order with great ease and play. This is kind of the highest possible embodiment of balance in life. That's when we become truly creative and authentic. So don't expect from you to be there if you're still finding out what kind of habits to change, what kind of good routines to create in your life, what kind of bad habits to let go and so on. This is the year of the dragon, which is only <clears throat> kind of preparing you to master these uh, two things. So time is speeding up and you're feeling it, which means that all the transformations are happening much faster and you're feeling it. Like whatever <laughs> things you're kind of 
working on right now the results may be finding you much faster like if you're shifting your mindset changing of the beliefs is happening much faster everything feels a bit more intense which is great like time is speeding up to to kind of make you more resilient and also more prepared like life is quite intense and you should be strong like bruce lee said uh, who was also born in the year of the dragon he said that don't pray for an easy life pray for the strength to endure a hard one so what's a hard life obviously can be discussed but what's important to understand is that we never aim towards an easy life we never aim towards an easy path we always aim towards a path that will feel like an adventure. An easy path will never turn into an adventure. Most of the time, it will not. When you think about your future, think about what would feel the most adventurous. And if possible, (laughs) quit excuses. Because excuses will take you away. They will say, yeah, I, I don't have enough money. I'm not smart enough. I'm not, you know, young enough. I'm too old. Whatever. What is an adventure for you? What adventure feels or how it feels to you? Because you need it. Like your spirit, (laughs) your spirit can dance when there's an adventure in life. You will feel stagnant when you're lacking an adventure in life. That's why we love traveling. That's why we love meeting new people. That's why we love trying new food and listening new music and trying new things. We love adventure. We've been born to experience a life of an adventure. Sure, then we need structure as well. We need to be organized. It's a beautiful balance, right? For me, for example, when I'm traveling, I still want to keep certain routines because it gives me a feeling of being organized. My brain works like I can easily go out of control. I can easily start overthinking things. I can easily start to feel stagnant and overwhelmed because I have this creative mind that uh, start jumping through ideas. But I know how to control that. I know how to organize myself. I've learned, I've trained myself to be organized and disciplined. So if I really want to enjoy my traveling, I need to have routines similar to the routines I have at my home, like waking up early, working out in the morning, meditating, reading a book, journaling, things like that. If I keep these things in order, then my traveling will be really adventurous and incredible. So those are just the things that help me to stay in balance wherever I am. And this is like an encouragement for you to try to recognize how could you create more balance in your life so your life can become more playful. Like... You can become more creative if you start managing your time more wisely. So you have time to create. Like many people I know said to me, you know, when I was younger, I was um, really creative. I was painting a lot or I was writing a lot. But then I found a job and, uh, you know, I I have kids now and things like that. And now I don't have time anymore. Which just means that uh, you're not prioritizing playfulness anymore. You've stopped prioritizing it. When you were younger, you you had like playfulness, creative expression where was at the top of the list. But then something else got at the top of the list. Maybe you need to wake up two hours earlier and prioritize playfulness and see what happens. Maybe waking up will be hard, but see what happens if you have this time for creating where you remind yourself how beautiful it feels. So whatever is the thing for you, this (laughs) year of the dragon may be the most transformative year in your life because the wood dragon is um, maybe encouraging you to be a bit more introverted right now which many people are even ex extroverts are a bit more introverted right now some of them who are awakening and beginning to understand themselves better are becoming a bit more introverted which may be expressed in a way that they start picking people a bit more 
wisely like um do i really want to spend my time with this type of people uh, they really help me to grow and they start to choose the way they spend their time more wisely like do i really want to go out partying or would be better if i actually invest more time into building a business that in the future can actually bring me more financial abundance or independence or whatever it is we really start choosing our actions making choices from a higher intelligence and that's the influence of this unique energy so the according to chinese culture the luckiest days for this year are the first and the 16th of any chinese lunar calendar month and the luckiest months are the third the fourth and the seventh chinese lunar months just something if you want to know so what it means the luckiest days or the luckiest months it means that during these times you may feel more connected with nature you may feel more in sync with the law of nature with your own originality your own authenticity so during this time through your dreams through your meditations through your daily spontaneous realizations you may come across ideas that can change your life for the better that's why it's called a lucky day because often when people act upon the ideas that came to to them through dreams through meditation through spontaneous realizations that are usually charged with incredible enthusiasm which is al also associated with the dragon if they act upon these ideas their lives change for the better that's why it's called the luck right so that's why they symbolize or they associate luck with the dragon so you can imagine that this year this chinese year um, which starts today may be a lucky year for you not like something will just happen out of nowhere but through your inner work you will come across so many incredible realizations that if you will act upon them your life will be led into an incredible reality that you're creating right now so make your choices out of your inner intelligence the highest wisdom that is always guiding you if you just listen to yourself if you listen to this gentle voice within you i know it's hard often because we are so bombarded with external impulses and noises but take a moment in a day and just ask yourself if there's something i'm ignoring about myself that i should do but i'm not doing just be aware be connected with yourself my friend this is it for today i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power i hope you found something valuable today of course i'm sharing with you today the painting of the dragon the name of it is the dragon and it has an interesting story you can find the whole story on attractpassion.com or on our etsy store i draw my passion go and check it out under the description of this painting you will find the whole story it's quite interesting so go and check it out my friends and till next time one love hey my friends i hope you've enjoyed in today's video i want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work original paintings you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes so go there and check it out attractpassion.com if you will use the code passion15 passion15 you will get 15 off onto your first order so go there and check it out and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one -on -one, i'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching we have some free spots once again you can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there so go and check it out if you would like to do something 
with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.